people, uh, they start they start getting cold feet. So what do I do? You know, I've been prepping for a South Park for seven weeks now, so I've been going pretty hard now. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and enjoy the show. What's up, fight fans? As March 30th is inching closer and closer, the date of the Tim Zhu versus Keith Thurman fight, I wanted to do this video to take a little bit of a closer look at Tim Zhu's resume. We've been doing videos using statistics to build our arguments, whether for or against these fighters. So with Tim, we're going to go over his last 10 opponents. We're going to talk about his opponent's strength of schedule. So basically, their win-loss ratio and that ratio starts with the jeff horn fight back in august of 2020 and it does include the keith thurman fight which is going on march 30th 2024 so all in between what we've done is tallied up the win-loss records of tim's opponents and what i'm going to do is go over that for you today and talk a little bit about the relevance of those statistics with Tim, a lot of people talk about he hasn't really been on the international scene yet, so this fight with Thurman is going to be his coming out party, or his detractors say this fight with Thurman, he's going to get exposed. Whatever way you look at it, the numbers don't lie, and if you add all of his opponents up, starting with Jeff, finishing at Keith, those 10 fights, literally, what have you done for me lately? Tim's opponents have 236 wins with only 18 losses, and that is a 93% win-loss ratio. When we talk about who we fight, who the fighters say no to, Tim Zhu is the type of fighter to not say no to anyone. We also should talk about in those nine fights, because he hasn't fought Keith yet, Tim is 9-0 with six stoppages. As a fighter evolves into their career, we know the early part of that resume is known to be soft because a fighter has a lot of litmus tests. Where is my guy at? How could he handle a fighter with a good right hand? How could he handle an opponent who moves well? How could he handle a bigger opponent? These sort of things are what the fight camps and the coaches will do as they're building their fighter's resume. Now, as the fighter prolongs and grows into their style, their body type, whatever division they fight in, it's those fights more recently that will tell you where the fighter is. And as the fighter fights longer and longer, that resume will get more tough, especially if he keeps winning. And that's why every fight Tim has now is going to be his toughest fight. When you look at what he did, starting with the Geisha fight, he goes into America, Geisha a proud Olympian and he got dropped in that fight early and Tim overcame that adversity. I think all fighters have to get tested so they know they could come back from the dead per se. It's one of the knocks on Mike Tyson. They said that every time he had to be the hammer, he did well. But when he was the nail, there weren't many instances of him losing a fight and then coming from behind to rally. That Geisha fight for Tim was that. He gets dropped early and then rallies and get the victory. And then after that, he goes on to stop Tony Harrison in spectacular fashion, stop Carlos Ocampo with one of the knockouts of the year, and then goes the distance with Brian Mendoza, a very tough out in which we know. So as the 30th approaches... And Keith Thurman is getting closer and closer. We better not sleep on Thurman. If you guys are going for Zoo, if you're going for Keith, that's fine. I just want to see a good fight. But the narration out there, the narrative that's saying Keith is over the hill, he hasn't fought in a while, it'll be 800 days since his last fight, that's all fine and dandy. But this is still Keith Thurman. This is a world champion. We know what he possesses. We know the skills. Granted, he's never fought at 54. It's just going to be another test for Tim Zhu. And if you've watched this young kid's career, this Aussie thrives on being tested. He's built for it. So going into the 30th, I'm going to leave you with this. Who do you guys like? Do you like Tim's chances or do you like Thurman's chances? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm even more happier now that it's Keith Thurman. Uh, bigger name, caliber of fight, bigger. Uh, when, you, when you talk about moments and, and experiences, you're talking. Uh, 
headlining Amazon Prime, uh, going to the States, it's, it's a big deal, you know. Uh, I've loved fighting here in Australia. It's been absolutely, it's been absolutely an honor and such a great time.